boots. The things you did for this company are truly outstanding. Our profits are back and higher than ever. Well, um, you're welcome. Pleasure doing business with you. Um, Caillou, what are you doing here? Don't play dumb with me, Boots. You know exactly what I want, Caillou. I can't just fork over half of the money to you. I mean, this company has just gotten its stocks back up and it's just wrong to take from them like this, like you took my bananas out of my fridge. I don't care whether this company is getting back on track, I want my share of the money and I want it now. Alright, alright, I'll get you your money. Mary, something odd just happened with the profits. What is it? According to this graph, they've been cut in half. What the hell? What is the meaning of this? Someone must have heard about our wealth and are now stealing from us. We can't have that. Find out who it is. Quick, check the cameras. The camera feeds went down at the robbery. Crap crap crap. Alright Mary, let's think about this. This may have been an act of jealousy by a rival of either us or Boots. What I do know is that Dora and her boyfriend Caillou aren't exactly on good terms with Boots. Plus, they've been in the news multiple times for various crimes. It does make sense that those two bastards would be behind a scheme like this. Let's find those two troublemakers. Well Caillou, that's a cool caveman outfit. And your vampire devil costume is sexy as hell. I wouldn't mind you sucking me dry. Caillou, that's so naughty. But what the hell are we supposed to do for Halloween? We'll go door to door, and basically rob everyone. Sounds pretty awesome. Stupid trick-or-treaters. Come in. Trick-or-treat, your rotten meat. Give me all your stuff for eternal sleep. All right. All right, just don't go in my closet, and feel free to use the shower. Well, the last lady gave us so much stuff I thought about just ending it here. Let's rob about two more house and end it there. After all, we don't want to overcrowd our rooms, and that would be a lot of stuff to sneak past our parents. You do have a point there. But let's move along to the next house. Looks like no one's here. That's good. Let's take all the stuff we can. Hey, what's all of that noise over there? You animal. What are you even doing in my kitchen? What does it look like, bitch? You look familiar. Are you Caillou, that kid who's all over the news? Um, um, no. Freaking liar. I know it's you. It's also a good bet you robbed half the money from my company. Well, yes. You pathetic little heel. I'm calling the cops on you for all the stuff you've done. And I'm telling them that you made Boots steal all those bananas. Go ahead you have a reputation of being a thief and a liar they're gonna believe me over you. Holy crap, you're right. I gotta get out of here. One does not simply rob a bunch of people on Halloween and get away with it. That's the lesson Caillou and Dora learned today, as for Halloween. They decided upon the brilliant idea of committing door-to-door -door robbery. Multiple people have called in 911, but the teens haven't been spotted since they left Mary Streeter's house. If you see them, call us so we can get them and stuff. He told me he was going to get his act together and then he's pulling crap like this. When I find him, I will teach him the lesson of his life. 